So at the end of the day, it's about having a high value network, one that supports, inspires, and motivates you to reach your best. Because for those of you who are laying in bed, staring at the ceiling, feeling like you're leaving points on the field, that you're not winning the day, that you're on autopilot and you're just numb to everything that is going on, it is because you're not striving you're not inspired to be at your best. And when you've created a high value network, it's just an automatic. You're inspired because you're hearing what the people in your network are doing. You're inspired, you're motivated because AJ's out there on another round of golf getting better. And it's like, oh man, I can't go back out there with him and have him give me a hard time next week. I gotta get moving, I need to get to the range right? All of these things have an influence on you. And when you're not fulfilled, your body has a way of letting you know that you're not. And that anxiety that is pushing you to do something, right, is pushing you to get out there, to connect, to be around these people, where everything else in your life is telling you to be safe, to stay home, to turn on Netflix. Just putting yourself in the arena and just surrounding yourself with like-minded people and going and taking action in a social realm in these areas that we talked about is not enough. Hope is not a strategy. And we hear this time and time again inside the X Factor. I'm going to the events. I'm meeting all these people. I'm getting business cards. I'm adding them on LinkedIn. I'm getting phone numbers. But what do I do? How do I actually turn that into something? I have a great conversation, but that doesn't lead necessarily to a great relationship. And relationships take time and vulnerability. That's the secret sauce. So how do we create time and vulnerability? And this is going back to our social sales funnel. The second step, after you've made all these connections, you've met all of these people, you've reconnected with old friends, is you host an event. Hosting doesn't necessarily mean it's at your house. It doesn't mean rolling out the red carpet and getting a chef and cleaning your place but it means you rallying like-minded people together, you community building, not waiting for someone else to reach out to you, not hoping that an event will inspire them to invite you. I'll give you another great example. A client of mine is a huge college basketball fan. Now, a lot of his friends in the city that he's in have other teams that they support. They didn't go to the same college as him, but it's March Madness. Everyone's watching college basketball. So he decided to take Friday off and park it at a sports bar. And he just invited all of his friends to come join him for as long as they can, take a long lunch, come after work. He's going to be watching college basketball all Friday night. That is a way to invite people into your life, to get them inspired to hang out with you. It takes a little bit of planning. It takes you setting aside the next two weeks, what are two or three things I'm going to be doing and having those plans in your back pocket. Now, the key to these plans are what would you enjoy doing even if no one showed up? If no one showed up to watch college basketball, is he going to have a good time? Yeah, he's out at the sports bar. It's social. The game's on. He loves doing it. He doesn't need 40 people to have a good time. He doesn't need everyone to show up to have a good time. But having that invite, the power of the invite not only signifies to the person you just met, I want to spend more time with you, I want you in my life, but it allows them to think of you the next time that they have something coming up. Oh, I should invite AJ. Oh, I should invite Johnny. And Johnny invited me to the show, I couldn't make it, but I'm going to see this metal band, I'm gonna invite Johnny. It brings you to a position of top of mind because you're taking action and inviting people into your life. Now, why I love group activities. Group activities take the pressure off of me as a, a bit of an introvert. They allow all of my other social connections to foster and tie together. And I'm building social capital, as we talked about, with those relationships. And it saves me on time. I don't have enough time right now to go to six dinners a week, to spend four nights out one-on-one -on -one with someone having lengthy lunches or going on a two hour hike, just one-on-one. -on -one. I don't have that time to dedicate right now with everything else in my life. But can I get three people together on the golf course for a foursome? Absolutely. 
can I get three friends to join me for a Barry's boot camp class and then have a, a shake after or grab a healthy lunch after? Absolutely. So by leveraging the group activity, I'm leveraging my time in a meaningful way. And if someone had a great time at that group event, if I found that this new person I met loved golf as much as me, then I'll invite them out to dinner for one-on-one -on -one time. I'll follow up with them after that great group hang to invite them over to watch the game, to invite them over to have dinner with me. So what I'm doing is I'm meeting new people, top of funnel, for those of you who love sales and marketing like us, then I'm qualifying these people, all these new leads, these social leads, by inviting them to events that I love doing, that showcase my passions, hobbies, and interests, showcase my mission. And then if they've had a great time with me at my qualifying event, I invite them for one-on-one -on -one hangs. I invite them to build a relationship with me, to share a bit more, to start working towards that vulnerability piece. So time plus vulnerability equals relationship. How do I increase time through group activities? I increase vulnerability by starting to hang out one-on-one -on -one with people that I really enjoy. And all of a sudden, you've created and developed a new network, a new high-value social circle that's going to create opportunities to remove yourself from the isolation that's happening all around us right now. And it's going to inspire you to move closer to your goals, to work on that golf game, to finish the album, to become stronger in the gym.